<laughs> hey there! Should you spend three times as much money on a Motocraft oil cooler over an aftermarket oil cooler like a Mishimoto? Well, I'm gonna make sure I confuse the topic as much as possible on this episode of I Hate Working on Cars! <laughs> There are many a horror stories on the internets about aftermarket oil coolers, and no shortage of strong opinions about the subject, so why not one more? Doing research on the topic, I found a lot of evidence of failed aftermarket oil coolers, but they were all for the 6 liter power joke. We have a doorman with gaskets that turn to confetti, not to mention a comparison showing the doorman with the smaller cooling passages. I found a topaz that turns your cooling system into a milkshake machine. But I've not found any failed 6.4 oil coolers anywhere. I even asked a couple Ford forums for evidence, but wasn't provided any. Does that mean 6.4 aftermarket oil coolers are alright? Hell no! I've worked on cars in a professional capacity, as a body man and painter mind you, for over a decade. And aftermarket parts are generally complete trash, and should be avoided in almost all cases. Which cases should they be considered? Well in cases where the factory part is also garbage, like the Ford factory oil coolers. Which kind of brings me to the point of this video. Why spend three times as much money on a pile of Ford oil cooler when you can save that money and get one with a lifetime warranty? Ford don't give you no warranty, but Mishimoto does, and with a solid reputation for making radiators and intercoolers for these same trucks, I decided to roll the dice and order one. Then I cut it in half, just for you guys. Comparing the Mishimoto side by side with the removed factory cooler, I measured them out to be perfectly identical. They have the same number of cooling rows in the same places, they're the same width, and as far as I can tell, the Mishimoto has similarly thin cooling fins. It is, as far as I can tell, just as big a pile of shit as the factory oil cooler is. And no, Mishimoto did not pay a guy with 18 YouTube subscribers to make this video and equate their product to a pile of shit. I'm shilling their product for free, unless you buy one from my Amazon iShilliate links below, but that's up to you. You can make me a paid shill or not. This is basically just an issue of no good options. You can get a factory cooler, a aftermarket cooler, or you can sell a kidney to get one of those relocation kits that moves the cooler under the brake booster, so when it clogs, at least you can change it easily. I chose to just run with the Mishimoto replacement, and I was able to do the whole oil cooler job for around 500 bucks, including the cooler, all the Ford factory gaskets, coolant, etc. I also did it without pulling the cab, so if you want to see that video, start by liking this one. Then subscribe to my channel so our Google overlords will know you're too broke to pay a mechanic to do this for you, just like me. See you next time.